documents declassified under Glasnost revealed that on September 26, 1983, the rocket on the launch pad was a manned T-10 capsule riding a powerful Soyuz booster. Cosmonauts Vladimir Titov and Gennady Strekolov are the crew. The launch sequence commences at 9 a.m. They take seats inside of the Soyuz capsule on the launch pad. All the preparations and countdown for the liftoff of the rocket with the Soyuz spacecraft are going according to schedule. But at T-minus 90 seconds, observers in mission control notice something disturbing. Launch controllers from their bunkers observe and the launch pad suddenly see the flames shooting from the bottom of the rocket. This is an extremely serious situation because you see flames on the launch pad. That's an immediate danger to the entire launch vehicle and to the crew. First, there was a small fire at the bottom of the rocket, but it's very quickly spread. So eventually, the entire rocket became a ticking bomb. The nightmare scenario is the fire will spread to ignite the 300 tons of rocket fuel beneath the cosmonauts' launch vehicle. Isolated in their capsule, Titov and Strekolov are unaware of the danger. First, they felt vibration inside the spacecraft, and they uh, first attributed to the strong winds. But then they uh, felt another wave of vibration, which is, of course, when the fire was spreading and the rocket was about to explode. Their only chance of survival is to fire the emergency launch escape system. The cosmonauts are perched at the top of this enormously large launch vehicle. And that upper stage has its own thrusters. And they're using those thrusters on that stage as a launch escape system. The cosmonauts trigger the escape mechanism, but the fire is burnt through the control cable. Their last hope is remote activation of the same system. But that can only be triggered by ground control. Emergency escape system is not a very easy and simple mechanism. This requires two launch personnel in a building located 20 miles from the launch pad to press two buttons within five seconds of each other. Only after being told to do so with a code word from somebody else that's at the launch site. This is going to be a very difficult process to do in a very short period of time. To see those flames growing, to know that an explosion is imminent, you must just feel like you couldn't go fast enough. Flames engulf the launch pad, obscuring the Cosmonaut spacecraft. Until their capsule emerges from the fireball. It gets them out of the way, but only with two seconds to spare. It's just like in the movies. They escape, and then boom. 